Over the past 10 or so years, I've been teaching in the community, I've been teaching in Sacramento, and I've recently been starting teaching in LA. And most kids I work with are low income and definitely a population that needs this. And something I've been wanting to do for the longest time is travel abroad to other countries that have the same thing. Finding kids that don't just want to learn how to dance, but I feel need something like hip hop in their lives. Short. I'm the general manager at Tiny Tunes. My name is Toy Sabell. And everybody called me KK. Came here lost in my own world, just trying to make it through. A couple people told the kids that hey, KK used to dance. These kids asked them uh, if people would teach them how to dance. Uh, somebody found out that he used to be boy back in the States. And I said, man, I'm cool, man. I just did about a couple years of prison. I quit dancing 15 years already. And they're like, come on, please, please. I'm like, nope, go home. And they came back the next time and they had this little, little baby one, about two, two, three year old. So they came back, they're like, brother, come on. And I was like, what you got? And the little two year old started dancing and three year old. And that made me miss my son. And I was like, all right, let's get started. Seeing Tiny Tunes really makes you appreciate everything that we have in the United States. These kids come in here and they're dancing with no shoes on. And something that actually really kind of made things click in my head was when I was asking about what time should we teach? And then I was asking when the kids get out of school and they're like, oh, these kids don't have school, they come here. So many kids complain about little things like, oh, I don't have an iPad, I can't break dance. Oh, I don't have the right helmet or t-shirt or whatnot, I can't break dance. So many excuses, but when you see these kids, they have the shirt on their back, some pants, and that's it, and they're doing backflips. What we do here is we help all types of kids from poor, rich, it doesn't matter really. Over here, we're just open for anybody to the youth that need help. Majority of these kids are from the projects. Everybody say, top rock. Tiny Tunes, we use uh, creativity, dance, music, and art to uh, engage with the, the youth here in Cambodia. Then we focus on the education and uh, building up their self-esteem, self-confidence, so where we can integrate them back into the public school system. Now we serve about 100 kids per day here at our center. Kids age range from five all the way to 24. Uh, we do pick up, so we actually pick them up from the community and bring them to the center. Cambodia has a very large population now. If the art, in any city is thriving, it's a reflection of how the city is doing overall. So the fact that it has kids that are, are learning to do all these things and from very impoverished places, it's just retelling the story of what happened in New York with breaking and... It's just letting kids be kids, you know? A lot of these kids never had the, the, the opportunity to have that normal childhood life, you know, because of the struggle of, of growing up in poverty. But we just want them to be a productive person in society in general. Shift. Yeah. Yeah. Out. Out. Sweep. One more time. You want to say hook. Yeah. Shift. Yeah. Out. Out. Sweep. The typical struggle is, is uh, they come from large family. So they come from large family, low income. So not a lot of guidance from their parents. Their parents don't have time to actually, you know, give them the best advice because they're, they're busy hustling money. So a lot of these kids, I wouldn't say neglected, but they are neglected in a, into a, a 
certain amount or they think to themselves that they're because they're poor, they don't have money, they don't have the education, they can't do it. But really, they can do it. My name is Homi. I get to dancing because KK is a man come to my village to work there and he called me to come to his house to learn how to break dance. My background is like the kid too and I was a street kid too. So that's why I want to train them how to break dance. Walking around Cambodia, you, you see a lot of kids that not necessarily went in the wrong direction, but don't know any better. I feel Tiny Toons is helping this situation, bringing kids off the street into a school, learning English, learning Cambodian, learning um, skills that will help them for the rest of their lives. So it's really just changing their mind, mind frame, mindset that, hey, you can achieve things if we set goals and if you dream, dream big, you know. And they see other kids that's been through Tiny Toons and see their success. So they just inspire each other to. Hip hop is one of those things that empowers and also challenges people on a whole different level. As you might know, breaking is a very difficult thing and to do it, it takes a whole lot of hard work and dedication. To take that same mentality and apply it to everything that you do in life, it will help you go far. Look at our teachers now that, that's teaching the next generation. These was kids that KK taught 11, 12 years ago, and these was kids that people said wouldn't all be nothing, you know what I mean? Some of them was on drugs, slept on the streets, uh, but now you know, people see them on TV, uh, they became uh, uh, productive in society, a uh, positive role model for, for the youth here in Cambodia. One thing that I always talk to teachers about is how well something like this improves the communication in class. Kids that often have trouble communicating, it gives them a little bit of confidence that helps them communicate. Anyone in the job world will tell you this, but communication is key. If you can't communicate with other people, you will have trouble. And I know people that have zero skill, but have amazing jobs, get paid a ton of money because they're good at communicating. A lot of people look at hip-hop as, oh, it's what they hear on the radio, what they hear on TV, what they see in music videos, but it's not any of that. Hip-hop is this. Hip-hop is Tiny Toons. So just want to say thank you to KK Short and the rest of the Tiny Tunes organization. I really appreciate you guys having me out in Cambodia and giving me the opportunity to work with your kids. Uh, to the rest of the viewers out there, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys uh, are inspired and I hope you guys go back out in your community and give back. Talk to you guys soon. By dancing, uh, uh, it can help me like from not using drugs. And you know, to make more friends, it changed my life.